Singapore is one of the most air-conditioned countries in the world to keep our offices, malls and homes cool. You could even say that we have come to rely on it. But our love affair with aircons come with a heavy cost, both financially and environmentally. My name is Adrian Chong and I run the Ideas Lab at NUS. Ideas is a research group at the Department of the Built Environment which aims to use techniques such as data analytics, machine learning, digital modeling and simulations to create energy efficient and healthier buildings. As global temperatures climb, I'm interested in finding ways that we can be smarter about cooling. Here at the Building and Construction Authority's Brado campus, we've built a living lab to test out what we call an incremental approach to cooling. Let's go inside and take a look. These are the offices of software company Ascendian Solutions. In most commercial buildings, aircon systems are designed to cool very large areas. Our alternative strategy is simple. Use air conditioning wisely, incrementally, and only when absolutely necessary. A key focus is on localized cooling, cooling the space around the occupant rather than cooling the entire space. Here in this office, we have installed a mixed mode cooling system backed up by sensors and real-time data gathering from the occupants. The system works by activating different cooling modes at various temperature thresholds. Below 29 degrees, the system prioritizes cooling through natural ventilation. Air flows through open windows and is boosted by ceiling fans. Above 29 degrees, the second mode activates for individual spot cooling, directing cool air through discrete vents located at the side or office tables. Finally, when temperature goes above 31 degrees, the aircon is activated alongside the other cooling modes. All of this is supported by a feedback system that allows the office occupants to give real-time updates on their comfort levels through an app on their smartwatches, mobile phones, or tablets. Through this incremental approach, we aim to demonstrate that offices can cut cooling energy consumption by 60% or more compared to conventional air conditioning operating at 24 degrees Celsius. We also need to work with engineers and designers from across a range of disciplines. One option we are developing is using a personalized cooling device using thermometric technology. Bringing together knowledge and skills from industrial design, mechanical engineering, and built environment, we aim to produce a flexible plug and play that stop cooling device. The finalized device should be able to cool ambient air by 3 to 5 degrees without producing condensation and be easily controlled by the users. We also estimate that using such device will increase the natural ventilation hours by over 20% to save the energy of cooling a whole building using standard air addition. We have become used to air conditioning as our default cooling solution. But it's surprising how adaptable humans can be. By building a system around what occupants find acceptable, rather than simply what they prefer, we observe a significant increase in potential for alternative cooling methods such as natural ventilation and localized systems, with the possibility of huge savings in energy consumption. Singapore is heating up quickly. To meet this challenge, relying on air conditioning alone to keep us cool is not the answer. We need to change our aircon reliant culture and break this cycle of cooling, which creates more heating, in turn creating more demand for cooling. And the time for us to act is now.